Hi everybody, welcome to today's lesson. My name is Hans and I am an English teacher here at Solar English School. So today we are looking at the letter M. M. So let's start just by looking at the letter itself. There you can see a big letter M and small letter M. So take your finger and I want you to trace on the board uh, on your screen the big letter M. So let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Great job, everyone. Everyone say M. M. Very good. And let's look at the small letter M. Take your finger and trace on the screen small M. One, two, three. One, two, three. Excellent, everybody. That is M. What does it sound like? Who knows what it sounds like? The name is M, but it sounds like M. Mm. So it's just a M mm sound. M. Mm. Everybody say M. Mm. Mm. Excellent. Great job, everyone. Now we're going to see it in some words. So let's go ahead and look at our vocabulary. First word is mango. Mango. Can everyone say mango? Yes, very good, everyone. And let's spell mango together. M A N G O. Mango. Great job, everyone. Mango. You can hear the sound of M, M in mango. Okay, our next word is mother. Mother. Can everyone say mother? Excellent. Great job, everyone. Let's spell mother together. M O T H E R. Mother. There you can see a picture of a mother. She is very busy. Always lots to do. All right. Excellent. Next word is me. Me. Can everyone say me. Yes, great job everyone. Me. So let's spell that together. M E. M E. Me. Me. <laughs> great job. Very well done. Uh, our next word is moon. Moon. Can everyone say moon? Excellent. Great job, everyone. Let's spell moon together. M-O-O-N. Moon. You can see the picture of the moon. You can see at night in the sky. You can see the moon. All right. So let's go over those one more time. So I say and you say after me. Mango. Mother. Me. Moon. Great job, everyone. So now I'll go a little bit faster. Say all the words you say after me. Mango, mother, me, moon. Mango, mother, me, moon. <laughs> Excellent, everyone. And backwards. Moon, me, mother, mango. Moon, me, mother, mango. <laughs> Great job, everyone. So you can hear the sound of m mm in all of those words. Okay, 
Let's try some exercises. I want you to color the picture where the word starts with M, mm, with the letter M. So take a look at the three pictures. What do you think? One of these pictures we have learned today. I want you to color in the picture. Only if the word starts with M. So here we've got moon, flower and pig. Okay, maybe you can color in a bit later. Let's see. Only the moon starts with M. The other words don't have M. So you need to color moon. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, everyone. Let's look at uh, some more of those. So three more pictures. Two of these pictures start with a letter M. What do you think? Which two pictures are you going to color? We've got mother, lion and mango. Okay, maybe you can color them a bit later. Let's take a look. So mother and mango start with M. They have a M sound, not a lion. So you need to color mother and mango. Great job. Excellent, everyone. For our next exercise, I want you to fill a suitable word in the blank space. So we have a sentence with one word missing. I am in the something tree. What do you think? This is a fruit. It's good to eat. It grows in trees. It's one of the words we have learned today. Look at the picture. What do you think? Yes, great job, everyone. I am in the mango tree. So let's read that sentence together. I am in the mango tree. I am in the mango tree. Excellent. Great job. Let's look at another sentence. Look at something. Look at the book, please. So who is the something or somebody? Remember the word? We learned it in the lesson today. Look at what do you think? Look at me. Yes, great job, everyone. Look at me. Look at the book, please. Let's read that whole sentence together. Look at me. Look at the book, please. Excellent. Great job, everyone. So remember what we have learned today, the letter M sounds like M. Mm. Uh, practice our vocabulary words, mango, mother, me, moon. And try to think of some other words that have the letter M and practice those as well. But that's all for this lesson. So come back for our next lesson on the letter N. Uh, keep practicing your English. It was nice uh, talking to you today. I'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.